Hi there. So, what I was doing today is this part that should protect the gasoline because linkers can flow, overflow sometimes. So, if we have gasoline on the exhaust when it's hot, I wouldn't count on that. It's not good. I saw on different motorcycles that is happening and they are burning, like a Norton, for example. They put the distributor right under the carburetors and they burn if they don't have a protection over there. So that's why I made this beautiful brass part here. I was tightening up the, the fuel, fuel line, fuel filter, so theoretically I can put some gasoline in. And what I want to do today is uh, put the oil in the gearbox, in the shaft drive and in the engine, but also prime with oil, all the oil ducts, so we don't destroy anything when I start it up, because it has a few seconds or minutes maybe sometimes, uh, when it takes some time to get the oil in the pump, and then from the pump to the main bearings and to be a bit more ca uh, to have a more a little bit more caution with that i will prime everything with oil and then try to start it i'm not so close of starting it i still need to mount a kickstarter and make the spark plug wires <coughs> but hope uh, hope soon to to be there i'm very stressed and uh, very excited also about that i'm very curious what i did i tell you i never made a four inline four engine before uh, never casted babbits never made main bearings on a machine never honed cylinders never cut it pistons and really it was a really big uh, mechanical challenge for me this this whole build so fingers crossed on everything thanks for so one fine example of what could go wrong with putting some oil in the engine and transmission this is the russian transmission as i know it with this oil oil plug here and you just put oil in it that's what i remember or they had in the top some of them yeah but what I didn't notice when I was building this bike, this part doesn't have any oil cap to add oil, right? So they probably relied on the fact that you can pull out a screw from here and put some oil in. But to be sure, because I had shitty threads in here, I had to make bigger threads in the, in the case here and smaller threads on the frame because I initially designed the frame for metric 8 uh, bolts so I was making metric 10 and metric 8 uh, screw here so now I theoretically should demount the whole shaft drive just to add some oil and this I don't like I don't I like uh, easy to maintain stuff so why not these bolts are not connected I cannot put oil in here but I can drill a hole like a barbarian, uh, get all the metal inside of this, wash it, take it out. It has a drain plug here down and then add the oil here and make a thread and close it down. Easier to, to access. Yes, so the first difficulty is here. I use a little trick here. I made a smaller hole. I have to get to a seven millimeter hole. I made a four millimeter hole, but didn't get all through. So I can take out all the mess and it doesn't go in. Now I will drill the bigger hole directly and take out also all the mess, because if this hole would be drilled out, all the mess from the, all the small metal parts from the bigger hole would go inside. So I have less as possible metal inside that I have to wash two times anyway and then put the oil in.
I could see a lot of the metal coming out when I use the brake cleaner. Anyway, I use on every motorcycle uh, cheap oil, the cheapest oil that I can buy because they are all very good anyway, and uh, use it for a wash. So, 100 km, 50 km, I just take it out and use it then for uh, my fence or whatever wooden stuff I have to cover it so I don't throw it out. So, it will be washed again with oil one or two times. Exchange, it's not much oil, probably 400 millimeter or milliliter, sorry, or something like that. I don't have such a small cone to put the oil in here, so I will use this pump. I will put oil in it and pump some oil inside. So, I like very much the result where I got to, now I can put very easily oil in and take it out very easily. If there are still some small metal flakes, I will change the oil and wash it again. And do that two more times and then you are sure it's a clean, uh, it's a clean loop system over here. Should be easier on the transmission and on the engine. So I remove this so I can open the screws more easily. What I want to do is prime the oil by pumping some oil into where the gorge is. Pumping oil in and into the engine first. And then I would like to try and pump some oil. Put Just prime some oil also in this... Uh, in this line here. I don't know if it will stay or not, but it should have as much as possible over here. I will try to use, I have this oil pump. It's a cheap oil pump from a uh, food store, they say. So I will try to use this one to pump some oil in the engine and rotate easily the engine while it's pumping this oil. So, back on our oil priming, on oil line checking, I will first check it with some soap in water to see if we have any air leaks here, because I don't like this, uh, this type of uh, mount, it's the original one, let's see. No, I don't see anything over here. That's a good sign. Let's try again. No, I don't see anything coming out, neither on the top or on the low side.
I mean for here, in our rotating the engine, to look it well. And I can see a difference from the first time I tried. So oh, the oil priming was going very good. I liked it pumped around 200 millimeters into the engine through the main bearings and I rotated that. I liked that how it uh, was going. We are getting close now the spark spark plug wires exactly. Now I have another issue. I don't like I would have liked this red wire. These are all textile wires, but I don't like how they look on the bike. So I will use a, a little bit thinner wire, this one, together with this and together with some nice spark plug caps. We have a spark! We have a spark! Four sparks! 